Hey, brother. I saw that video you just put up about trying to explain to the guy all day about Jesus. So I'm going to give you an analogy, too. It's very much like what you were saying. Let's say that you can see an elephant, right? And you're trying to describe this elephant to three blind men. And the blind man goes up and he feels the elephant's trunk and he's like, oh, this thing is long and, and sinewy like a snake. And the other guy feels one of the elephant's big ears and he's, no, it's not. It's flat and floppy and, and huge. And the other guy, you know, wraps his arms around a big elephant's leg and he's like, no, this thing is solid. It's like a tree. That's what it is. It's like a tree. That is the way that people start out with their concept of God. You, it's, it's not impossible, but you know what I'm talking about. If people's eyes are closed, if, if you go so long and they do not want to believe, they do not want to be open-minded to it, they're not trying to find Christ, they're trying to find what's wrong with you, how to shut you up. This is what Jesus meant when he said, don't cast your pearls before swine. I'm not saying they're swine like that, but in the sense that they are not citizens of the kingdom of heaven, they're part of the world, they're part of the world's evil ways, evil system. They don't want to change. They just want to prove you wrong. That's swine. And don't cast your pearls before them. I try... It's not, you know, I don't count it, but I try to give somebody two or three comments about the Lord and about the truth. And if they keep want to keep arguing with me, block. I'll say something in parting, you know, hope you find the Lord, but it won't be, you won't, you won't miss him because of me, because I told you the truth. So that's your responsibility as a brother in Christ, as a minister is to give them the truth, but it's not your responsibility to make them believe it. Not at all. So you did the right thing. It's just you'll have to gauge for yourself when it's time to pick your pearls up and go on, dust your feet off, you know, everything it talks about in presenting the gospel. But if they're not hospitable to the idea after you have heartfelt and prayed about it and tried to present the gospel to them a few times, two or three you're done. You, you don't have any more obligation. Um, Jesus said they have the law and the prophets. They wouldn't.